Welcome to Private Money Secrets. I'm Keith Yaki and I'm your host. And all we talk about here is private money, real estate, and some other fun stuff. Grab your favorite beverage. Let's dive in. When was the last time you gave your entire effort to something? Most people are afraid to give everything to something because they're afraid it will not work out. They're afraid, it, hey, it's not going to work. But I think what happens in people's minds is they actually think, man, if I have to give everything that I'm going to have to do it all the time for the rest of my life. And yet that's not how life works, is it? Life is seasons. Life is seasons. And what I've found and my close friends who are successful have found is that you should break things into quarters, break things into timelines, break things into there is a deadline. 90 days seems to be that deadline for most people. Have you stopped to consider and ask yourself, what would this situation, whatever is plaguing you, trying to find a deal, trying to raise private money, trying to get your wife to love you again, trying to get your kids obedient, trying to get your um, your gut thinned out from being a fat ass, whatever it is, right? Have you asked yourself, what would happen if I went all in for 90 days and then at the end of 90 days, I looked at the results? See, here's what normally people do. If they even get so much as far as to say, I'm doing this thing for 90 days, I'm doing it. What happens is they get 11 days in and go, nah, it's not working. Well, no shit. It's only been 11 days, dodo bird. It's only been 11 days. It it, it hasn't been able to even be effective yet. People give up too soon. Or they start looking for reasons why something doesn't work. Or they start looking for, how do I change this? Usually, how do I make it easier? Our brain is usually saying, how do I make this easier? And that's not always the best thing for you. Not for achievement anyway. To make a more comfortable bed? Sure. How do we make it easier? To make a more luxurious car ride down the road? Sure. How do we make it easier? But how do I become the greatest achievement machine that I can possibly become, that is not, that effort, that attitude is not going to help you. So my encouragement to you is short, it's simple, it's sweet, it might be stiff, but it's certainly going to feel good. Here it is. Determine a goal that you want to accomplish in the next 90 days and become obsessed with that. And don't give up on day 14. Don't give up on day 38. Don't give up on day 52. Let it run its course. Now, if you discover something obvious on day 38 or 52 that you need to adjust to get better results, sure, that's okay. But don't adjust to make something easier. Adjust to make something more effective. Effective. Possibly, it you might need to make it harder, not easier, for it to become more effective. 90 days. It's not the end of your life. If you want to go back after the 90 days, back to more pathetic, less output, less results, less production, sure, cool, fine. Pick it then. But right now, determine this is my goal. This is what I'm going after. When I work with one-on-one clients, say, what's our 90-day goal? What are you going to accomplish this quarter? You're going to get three houses. You're going to flip three houses in the next 90 days. Cool. Nothing else matters compared to those three things. That's it. And then let's put all of our effort, our focus, and everything and our energy all on that particular goal. We're not seeking it to be easier. We're seeking it to be more effective. We want to produce something. We want to see a result, a real result. That's how progress is made. Pick a goal. Go all in for 90 days. Don't puss out. Don't cut yourself short. You're stronger than you think. Fuck what everybody else has told you about. You're not good at this. You're not good at that. You're not good at that. Maybe you weren't, but you can change. That's the beauty of being a human. We can change. Pick a goal. 90 days. In fact, once you've picked one, email me. Email me. Email me at Keith at KeithYaki.com. I want to know what the hell they are. 
And for those of you who pick a really cool goal, I might even talk about it on the next podcast. Keith at KeithYaki.com. Tell me what your 90-day goal is. Tell me what it is. And don't you dare give up on day 15. Don't you dare give up on day 21. Don't you dare give up on day 39 or 47. Let it run its entire course and then talk about how effective it is. Let's go. All right, so if you're wanting to learn how to raise more private money, go to www.privatemoneypro.com, www.privatemoneypro.com, where I can show you how to be a private money pro. Take care and go rock it. Rock it.